Hey everyone, Tim Alamon Jr. here, My Asylum Alcohol. A um, couple things get into. You guys make sure when you're drinking, you're drinking responsibly. You're drinking um, mature, ridley, maturedly. I don't know, I don't think this word. Because um, bad things happen when you're not responsible um, with your alcohol. Um, so make sure when you drink, you you drink to st and you stay alert. Try not to over drink. Just, you know, drink, have fun. But don't get too crazy. And if you got any kids around, either don't drink or have a beer. Um, a lot of bad shit happens. Just FYI, throwing that out there. And as I always say, don't drink and drive. And if you're going to drink, get a DD. Um, always highly recommend. Don't recommend walking. A lot of crazy drivers out there who do drink and drive. And also disclaimer, yeah, I'm sampling and I'm bringing alcohol to you guys, but I drink in moderation. I have alcohol it's still in my fridge from months ago. Um, in my fridge from months ago, I don't hardly, I don't drink that much, but when I do drink, I stay responsible. Anyways. Today I'm bringing to you guys some uh, budget, budget beer. Um, a friend of mine said this is what they drank because it was cheap and got you fucked up. Um, so it looks, sounds cool. It's got a cool kick ass name, but I doubt it tastes good at all. It's not as high as the uh, Four Loco. This Four Loco is like 14 to 16 percent alcohol. This is only one's 10 and a half percent. The other is 12.2 percent. Uh, so this is very interesting. One's special reserve. The other is ice brewed. Um, so kind of funny that special reserve would be on a low budget alcohol like beverage but it is an ice brewed I was heard it was brewed and then uh, it skim the ice is skimmed off the top I don't know it's just what I heard anyways this shit is called camo the black ice Camo black. This is extra. Um, anyways, I'm gonna give these a go. Let you guys know if the budget's worth the price. I highly doubt it. I'm gonna start off with the black ice because it seems it might be a little smoother. It doesn't smell too bad. It's kind of got a sweet aroma. Like a malty sweet malt-esque flavor yeah. so it's not bad it's really not it's kind of good but that's the only thing I drink lately it just got nutty type flavor Next, Camel Black. This one actually smells more like beer and doesn't have that heavy malt like the ice brew did. Okay, guys. I work with people who make more money than I do, less money than I do. And they drink Four loco. okay? They could drink 
They can drink good shit, but they don't. I feel bad for whoever chooses to drink this shit. It's like desperation shit right here. Uh, ugh. Ah. So this shit's going to be poured out. Now my train this is disgusting. Because I don't know anybody who would come over and actually drink this. But. This together was approximately $7. Okay, so you can get a bottle of rum. Or whiskey. For approximately that price. Maybe a dollar more. So. Let's be wise. And if you're actually trying to disappear, excuse me, get some rum or whiskey. <clears throat> it tastes better, and you can conserve it, conserve it a lot more. You know, go a lot further, especially if you use mixers. And as I said, drink responsibly. Don't drink stupidly. Anyways, I'm going to give uh, Ice Brewed Camel Black Ice 5X, 10.5% alcohol per volume, 24 fluid ounces. That motherfucker is getting a 4. It's better than the Special Reserve Camel Black Extra X, 12.2% alcohol. Ultra premium high gravity lager beer, 24 fluid ounces. That too is also 230 something. And I'm going to slap that dude with a 3.5. Do not recommend. They got four locos. They got mics. They got all different things that are pretty similar in price. If you want something that tastes better and you want to enjoy your evening and not have to try to choke down these disgusting beverages. Um, anyways, that's your review. You all have a good night. Don't drink and drive. Get a DD. Now fuck off.